All right, this is lesson 20 for eighth grade, and today we're talking a little bit about triangles. Uh, we're going to talk about how to name triangles and the different types that we're going to see throughout the year, and also um, how to find the area of a triangle, uh, which should be reviewed because we did cover it last year. All right, uh, to jump in here, um, recall that polygons are closed plane figures with straight sides. Triangle is a polygon with three sides. So two-dimensional, three-sided, all-closed figure with straight sides. Um, we can classify triangles by their angles, and we can also classify them by their sides. So first we'll look at the angles here. Um, the measures of the three angles of a triangle total 180 degrees. So at least two angles of a triangle are acute. So at least two of them are less than 90 degrees. Um, that has to be true for it to be a triangle. Um, here's what we would call an acute triangle because every angle is less than 90 degrees. This one we call a right triangle because we have a right angle in there, 90 degree angle. And an obtuse triangle, um, this because one of them is greater than 90 degrees. So if you have one that's greater than 90 degrees, it's obtuse. If they're all less than 90, it's acute. And if you have one that is exactly 90, it's a right triangle. All right, but well we can also classify based on the side lengths, okay? Um, we have an equilateral triangle. That's triangles that have three equal length sides, and actually all the angles are the same, too. Um, an isosceles triangle, they have at least two equal length sides and at least two equal angles. So however many sides are equal, that's how many angles will be the same as well. Okay? And a scalene, they have... Um, sides of different lengths and all their angles are different measures. So they look like this. And we use these little, they call them tick marks and arcs to indicate the sides and the angles that are equal measures. So in an equilateral triangle, um, all these sides are the same. So those marks, anything that has a single mark is equal. All these angles are the same. So we do this right here. Um, actually, in an equilateral triangle, the angles are always going to be 60 degrees because you have three angles that are the same, and if they add up to 180 degrees, 180 divided by three angles gives you 60 degrees. So equilateral triangles, always 60 degree angles. And your sides are always going to be the same too. All right? Isosceles triangle, that's when you have two sides that are the same. So we've got double marks here, and then um, two angles are the same. And the two angles that are going to be the same are the ones opposite the same sides. All right. So it's easy to remember. It's usually pretty easy to tell which two are going to be the same anyway, just by the way it looks. But yes, that's how we figure out which angles will be the same. So um, this could be. 60, 60, no, we can't do that because that would be an equilateral. If we did uh, 30 degrees, 30 degrees, and then we'd have to have this be 120. doesn't look like that because it's not obtuse, but yeah, you get the idea. Two angles the same, two sides the same. And scalene, everything's different. Uh, all the sides are different lengths and all the angles are different lengths. So we don't have any tick marks there because nothing matches up with anything else. All right. But we can have um, two names for a triangle. For instance, if we look at this one, I know this is a 90 degree angle. So right away, I know this is a right triangle. But it's also another type of triangle. Um, so this is 90, this is 60. So we add those together. We get zero and 150. 15, 150, so 150 degrees. Um, we're going to use this to figure out what this angle is. They have to add up to 180, so 180 minus 150 should give us our other degree measure. So this angle is 30 degrees. Alright, so every angle is different. We have a 30, 60, 90 triangle there. Um, since all the angles are different, this is also a scalene triangle. So it's a right scalene 
triangle. All right. So if we go back real quick here, um, most triangles have two different names. In fact, I'm pretty sure, yeah, and most of them do. Um, oops, that's forward. I want to go back quick. So if we look at our equilateral here real quick, something like this would be equilateral, but it would also be acute because all the angles are less than 90 degrees. So equilaterals are always equilateral and acute. Um, if we look at this one, it appears that it would be isosceles and acute as well. This one would only have, nope, scalene, and it looks like that angle is probably more than 90, so it's probably scalene and obtuse. So triangles will have two different names. All right, look at this example here. Two angles in a triangle are 25 degrees. What is the measure of the third angle? First of all, this would be, well, we'll name it afterwards, but 25 degrees, 25 degrees. And we're looking for that angle right there. Now we have to use the fact that angles in the triangle add up to 180 degrees. So we're going to add these two. So we got 25 plus 25, which is 50. So we've got 50 degrees there. And we know the rest has to come from 180 minus 50. So 180 minus the degrees that we have. We get 0, 3, 1. 130 degrees, so we should be looking at number 3 here. So x should be 130 degrees, right there. Alright, um, now if we were to actually name this, so we know now this is 130, we've got two names for it. Well, this angle and this angle are the same, which means this side and this side are the same. So we have an isosceles. And we also see that we have an angle bigger than 90. So that's an obtuse triangle. So if we were to classify that triangle, isosceles obtuse triangle. All right, now we're gonna get into triangle area a little bit. And uh, most students know that the area of a triangle is one half base times height. So if we use a rectangle here, and I just call this base and height, normally for a rectangle we would say length and width, base and height are okay. Um, if I call that base and height, and I go ahead and draw a triangle in here, right here, Um, my students can tell me that that triangle takes up half of the area of a rectangle. So the area of a rectangle is length times width, or in this case, the area of this one would be base times height. So area of the rectangle equals base times height. We can see that the triangle is half of that area, so area of a triangle is half whatever this is. So all that multiplied together, sorry. One half base times height. Or you can multiply base times height and then divide by two, same thing. All right, so that's kind of where that formula originates, originates from. I shouldn't say kind of, that is where that formula originates from. And this is in the student book. Um, they have the area of the triangle in where it's one half base times the height, or in symbols, one half base times height. And I also said you could do um, base times height all over two. So base times height divided by two. Same thing. And I want to go through three examples here. Real quick. Okay. Um, the biggest battle, we want to find the area of each of these. So I'll section these off here. The biggest thing is finding out what your base and height are. Well, in any triangle, um, the height 
is going to be whatever side makes a 90 degree angle with the base. So we're looking for whatever makes a 90 degree angle with our base. Okay? Here I would say 8's our base and 6 makes a 90 degree angle with the base so this has to be our pipe. In fact for any um, any right triangle, let's say we had one like this. Um, either one of these could be your base or height because they make that 90 degree angle um, right here. So um, this is basically just oriented a different way. But if we were to say, okay, this was our 8 and this was our 6, here's our 10. So this triangle just rotated a different way. Um, you would still say, okay, maybe this time you want to say six is the base. That's fine. Just find the one that makes a 90 degree angle with that base. So this would be your height in that case. It won't change your answer. Okay. So 90 degree angles, the two legs are the things that we're looking for. The two that are attached to that 90 degree angle, that will be your base or height. All right. But if it's situated like this, the easy thing to do is say, okay, eight. Eight's the one that's flat um, and parallel to the ground in this case. Um, so we'll just say this is eight. Even though it's a two-dimensional figure, you know what I mean. All right, so area equals one half times the base times the height. So times eight times the height, six. And that will be one half times, eight times six is 48. So basically we need half of 48, which is 24. 24 inches squared. It has to be inches squared because we are in area. Just wanna make sure my answer was showing up on the screen there. Right? All right, so inches squared, and it would be 24. If you wanted to save yourself some time, if I take this up here, one half times eight times six, um, all of this is being multiplied, so it doesn't matter which order you multiply in. I could have done half of eight first. Half of eight is four, four times six is 24. I could have done half of six first. Half of six is three. We still would have got 24. So if you don't want to find a large number and take half of that first, you don't have to. You can take half of either of these two numbers and you'll still end up okay. So I'll do that for the next one maybe. Okay, so base and height. We're going to say six. That looks like that would be on the ground or the one facing us if we're looking at it in a book like this. So I'm going to go ahead and say base right here. And remember, Whatever makes a 90 degree angle with your base, that's the one we're looking for. So, 6 right here. This would be our height. I'm going to check my time quick. We are running out of time. So, we're going to do this quick. This would be 1 half uh, base times height, which is 6 times 6. So, basically, half of 6 is... 3, 3 times 6 is 18, 18 centimeters squared. And our last one here, um, base would be 8. And our height, the thing that makes a 90 degree angle with our base, would be 7. So set this one up, 1 half base times height. Half of 8 is 4, 4 times 7 is 28 meters squared. All right. Homework should be on the link, and I have to turn this off. Thank you.